In a momentous revelation, Elon Musk has just shaken the space exploration community with the grandest announcement of all time. According to Musk, SpaceX's Starship spacecraft is about to receive its most substantial upgrade ever. This groundbreaking revelation has the potential to redefine the future of space travel, shattering existing limits, and ushering in a new era of human exploration beyond the confines of Earth's atmosphere. The magnitude of this upgrade cannot be overstated. It represents a colossal leap forward in technology and innovation, promising to revolutionize the way we perceive and venture into the cosmos. So, what does Elon Musk's monumental upgrade on SpaceX's Starship mean for the future of space travel? Let's find out. SpaceX, the renowned aerospace company founded by Elon Musk, is making remarkable strides with its ambitious Starship project. The company is focusing its efforts at the Starbase facility in Texas, formerly known as Boca Chica. Here, significant developments have taken place, including the installation of a massive water deluge system. This ingenious system is designed to cool the launch pad and protect the rockets during the intense launch process. The water deluge system consists of a central steel plate and three surrounding manifolds. The central steel plate serves as a large water-cooled structure, dispersing heat and absorbing the energy generated during rocket launches. The three manifolds are responsible for directing and blasting water upwards towards the rocket, creating a protective barrier against the intense heat and flames produced during liftoff. The transportation and installation of these components were no small feat. SpaceX employed cranes to carefully move the central steel plate beneath the launch pad, as it couldn't fit through the gaps in the launch mount legs. With precision and expertise, two cranes hoisted the central steel plate and placed it on the transporter. Then, with meticulous planning and execution, the plate was lowered into position, ensuring the successful installation of the water deluge system. Alongside this remarkable upgrade, SpaceX has implemented several other notable updates at the Starbase facility. One of the most exciting updates at SpaceX's Starbase facility involves the meticulous installation of a new payload bay door, custom designed specifically for Ship 28. This latest modification sets itself apart from the original door with its increased robustness, making it a game changer in terms of reliability and durability during space missions. The payload bay door plays a critical role in protecting and securing valuable cargo within the spacecraft during launch, re-entry, and in the harsh conditions of space. SpaceX's decision to focus on enhancing the payload bay door demonstrates their commitment to continually improve their spacecraft's performance and safety. The door's enhanced robustness ensures that it can withstand the stresses of spaceflight, such as extreme temperatures, pressure changes, and vibrations without compromising the payload's integrity. This upgrade is particularly crucial as SpaceX continues to move forward with an increasing number of ambitious missions, including satellite deployments, cargo resupply to the International Space Station, and crewed missions to the Moon and Mars. Moreover, keen observers have been intrigued by the sighting of a Starship test section labeled as the hot stage load head within the Starbase facility. While SpaceX has not officially disclosed the exact purpose of this test section, speculation suggests that it is connected to the Starship Super Heavy Interstage. The inner stage is a critical component responsible for linking the Starship's upper stage with the powerful Super Heavy Booster, a vital part of SpaceX's next-generation spacecraft system. By conducting meticulous tests and evaluations on this test section, SpaceX aims to gather essential data to optimize the design and functionality of the interstage. Understanding the behavior of the interstage during launch, separation, and booster landing is crucial to ensure seamless coordination between the two stages of the spacecraft. Successful optimization will not only enhance the efficiency and performance of future launches, but also contribute to cost-saving measures, making space travel more accessible and sustainable in the long run. Furthermore, SpaceX recently reached a significant milestone in the development of the Super Heavy Booster. This monumental achievement involved the successful rollout and comprehensive tests on the Super Heavy Booster at the Macy's Test Area. As the powerhouse that propels the Starship into orbit, the Super Heavy Booster requires meticulous testing to validate its performance, structural integrity, and safety. 
These initial tests at Macy's are fundamental to the development and validation of the Super Heavy Booster. They provide SpaceX with critical data on the booster's performance and reliability, allowing them to make necessary refinements and improvements. The insights gained from these tests will guide SpaceX's future testing phases, including static fires, where the engines are fired while the rocket is held in place on the ground, and full-scale launch tests. Each successful test brings them closer to realizing their vision of a fully operational and reusable Super Heavy booster. Aside from their developments at the Starbase facility, SpaceX has been actively launching its Falcon 9 rockets with remarkable achievements. One noteworthy mission was the successful launch of Starlink Group 513 from the Vandenberg Space Launch Center. The Falcon 9 rocket performed flawlessly, delivering a batch of Starlink satellites into orbit to expand SpaceX's satellite internet constellation. The most remarkable achievement was the 16th consecutive landing of a Falcon 9 booster during the Starlink Group 6, 5 mission. This feat set a new record for Falcon 9 boosters, showcasing their reliability and reusability. Reusing rocket boosters is a core component of SpaceX's cost-saving and sustainability strategy. Each successful landing represents a step towards making space travel more affordable and environmentally friendly. In other news, Europe recently bid farewell to the Ariane 5, an esteemed workhorse of the European space industry, after nearly 25 years of dedicated service. The Ariane 5 rocket played a vital role in launching a wide range of payloads, including satellites and scientific missions, cementing its reputation as a reliable and capable heavy lift vehicle. Its final launch carried two communication satellites, each serving distinct purposes. One was designed for researching and testing new communication technologies, while the other was tailored for the French armed forces to maintain continuous connectivity during their deployments. With the Ariane 5's retirement, Europe is currently without a heavy lift vehicle available for launching large payloads into space. However, the temporary gap in heavy lift capabilities is expected to be filled by the upcoming Ariane 6 rocket, which is currently under development. The French Guiana Space Center, Europe's primary spaceport, houses a test vehicle for the Ariane 6. This test vehicle is being used to validate the facilities and processes at the spaceport in preparation for the actual launch vehicles, which are still being assembled in Europe. The transition from Ariane 5 to Ariane 6 signifies a significant technological upgrade and is eagerly anticipated as Europe's next-generation heavy-lift vehicle. Meanwhile, in China, a somewhat mysterious launch took place with a Long March 2C rocket deploying an internet technology test satellite into orbit. This event added to China's ongoing efforts to expand its capabilities in space technology and communication. Looking back at the International Space Station, ISS activities during the first half of 2023, several crew rotations and scientific experiments were conducted. Crew 6 remained on board, and Axiom Mission 2, a private astronaut mission, was successfully completed. Notable achievements included spacewalks to install new solar arrays, increasing the ISS's power production. There were also advancements in water recovery and fabrication capabilities, contributing to the station's self-sufficiency and research capabilities. The second half of 2023 promises to be a thrilling period for the International Space Station, ISS, with a series of planned activities and missions that will further expand our understanding of space and human endurance. Among the highlights are scheduled spacewalks, cargo missions, and the launch of two important crewed missions, SpaceX Crew-7 and Soyuz MS-24. Spacewalks, also known as extravehicular activities, EVAs, are critical for maintaining and upgrading the ISS. During these spacewalks, astronauts venture outside the safety of the ISS to perform various tasks, such as repairing equipment, conducting experiments, and installing new components. These spacewalks not only showcase the incredible skills and courage of the astronauts, but also play a vital role in the ongoing maintenance and improvement of the space station. Cargo missions are another essential aspect of the ISS's operations. These missions involve resupplying the station with necessary equipment, food, water, and scientific instruments. Cargo spacecraft from different space agencies such as SpaceX's Dragon and Northrop Grumman's Cygnus, 
play a pivotal role in ensuring that the ISS remains fully operational and that astronauts have all they need for their missions and experiments. In addition to the scheduled activities, two significant crewed missions are set to launch during this period. First, SpaceX Crew-7 will embark on its journey to the ISS, carrying a team of astronauts to the space station. SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft has become a key player in transporting astronauts to and from the ISS, with its successful launches and landings marking a new era in crewed spaceflight. Simultaneously, Soyuz MS-24 will carry a crew of astronauts, including NASA's Frank Rubio and Russian cosmonauts Sergei Prokopiev and Dmitry Petlin, to the ISS. What makes this mission particularly noteworthy is that during their stay aboard the ISS, Rubio and his Russian colleagues will reach a significant milestone, their 365-day mark in space. This extended mission duration will break the American record for the longest single space flight, pushing the boundaries of human endurance and contributing valuable insights into how the human body adapts to long-duration space travel. Such research is crucial for planning future deep space missions, including crewed missions to Mars and beyond. As the year unfolds, these developments and upcoming missions promise to captivate space enthusiasts and inspire the world with remarkable achievements in space exploration and research. The question that remains is, what groundbreaking discoveries and advancements will these missions bring to humanity's understanding of space and our place in the cosmos? So, are we on the verge of witnessing a new era of space exploration, thanks to Elon Musk's audacious upgrade to SpaceX's Starship? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips, and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.